Hmm. Greetings to you, our friends. We are, again, very pleased to speak with you. The conduit is in excellent condition tonight. Hmm. Indeed, it is a balance to share lessons that are informational and absorbent. Hmm. We recommend that each of you practice meditation and energy healing daily. These two practices are in alignment to insist to support your ability to receive and connect with those who are not so solid as you are. Mm. It would obviously be easier for us to communicate with you if we could communicate as we do with each other. These words through mouths are mm, clunky. Mm. Mm. You are familiar with the practice of creating a lace. You have a thread or several that you crochet together to form patterns. And these patterns are often repetitive. They are often, hmm, Hmm. Miniature mandalas. If you think of this, a sheet of lace is many small elements, small mandalas connected together through the ever running thread. Suppose you wish to create a great gown of lace, fantastic gown for a queen's greatest day. The undercoating would be a very sturdy lace. And then many layers of lace cloth until the top layer is the finest, most delicate, which could not stand upon its own. It must require the support of the layers beneath, or it would flop, it would lose its body. If it were to float in the breeze, it would be fantastic, but to connect to this solid state and have impact, it must rest upon the layers below, and each layer is less delicate and more sturdy. The mandalas of your planet are similar. As solid beings, you each have certain connections with others that are very physical or emotional, communicative. But then as you expand out, there are lighter connections, lighter connections going ever outward 
for lighter frequencies. Those you collect with on a more spiritual level, those you connect with you have never met, environments you connect with, spirits you connect with, becoming less physical and more etheric, more delicate as you expand upon them. Each of these relationships has elements of karma woven into them. The karma is a part of these mandalas. It is a part of your life path. It is part of the life paths of all you connect with. If you are going through a karmic lesson, this lesson is, as you say, before you. There is no going around it. You have tried and always found yourself back in the pit or the start of it. You have tried to hop over it, to ignore it, but the karmic lesson before you will always be before you until you have completed it and resolved it. As you resist learning your lesson, things will happen to you to force you to learn it. Generally, not such pleasant things, undesirable to force you. As you are experiencing this, those within your immediate mandala feel the effects. It impacts them. The energy that connects you is impacted, thus affecting their extended energy, or they must release from you. Meanwhile, your connection to your lighter frequencies. The lighter, more etheric mandalas is impacted for you are not raising your frequency enough to make use of all of this floating about that's too delicate when you are so insistently dense. Then you say, my God has forsaken me. My angels ignore me. No, you are not going forward. You are not going upward. You are remaining in place. This is a part of the natural karmic experience. You have each gone through such a lesson as I have described at least once or a hundred times or a thousand in your life. This is standard procedure, but eventually, you go forward, you slide back, you go forward, except you keep a little bit of the karma with you, so it pulls you back. This is part of the process for your soul to learn so much from your experience. You must not berate yourself for being in the educational process. However, you will notice when you complete the karmic lesson, completely resolve, release, you feel far more connected again. For your energy has lightened and allowed you to op open. All of the lighter frequencies have not ignored you and they have not disappeared. You merely have kept yourself too weighted and enclosed to connect up. Of course, this is standard. However, when anyone connected with your mandala is shifting their energy, it will affect you. When all of humanity has made their energy very dark and dense because humanity has refused to go forward, with the obvious karmic lessons, then 
Earth must remind you, Earth is continuing. The quandary is, what will humanity do in this moment? There are many answers. We have seen many visions play out for this. Of course, the easiest thing is to learn the karmic lessons and go forward. The most difficult thing is to refuse to learn your lessons and then become fairly obsolete. It will be up to humanity to decide. Once this process is complete and those who are on earth choose to learn their lesson, resolve, release, and go forward, then you will go forward to a paradise. Does this explain with greater coherency our discussion in our previous session? Yes. It is not your responsibility to heal all of humanity. However, the quicker humanity spreads healing energy, the quicker you will be on the path for humanity to move forward. Hmm. The remaining mandalas on your planet, of nature, trees, animals. They are trying to heal themselves, even as humanity is trying to cause further damage to them. The sooner humanity stops harming, the animals and plants and environments, the sooner everyone will evolve. 